Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to go through numbers up to 50. Now let's start with our first example. I want you to take a close look at the following blocks. Here we go, we've got two rows and we've got the third one where there are individual blocks. Now we went through this in a previous tutorial and what we said then was the top row is 10. Okay. That is 10 blocks. We don't need to count them, they are 10 blocks. The second row is another row of 10 blocks. So now we've got 20 blocks. And how many do we have at the bottom? We've got 1, 2, 3. So the total number of blocks we have are 23. Now look at how we work that out. We did not count each and every single block. That would take too much time. This is a shortcut method of trying to work out how many blocks there are. So we count the number of, so we look at the picture. The top row has got 10 blocks. The next one has got 10 blocks. Therefore, that makes a total of 20 blocks. And at the bottom here, we've got 3. So that makes total of 23. That is how we work it out. Now let's uh, have a look at another example. This time we'll do it with the vertical blocks. There we go. That's one set. And I'm going to do one more here. And one more here. And we've also got some individual blocks. That one turned out to be a little bit wonky. Let's draw that again. Okay, so how many blocks do we have now? Again, you can count them individually, but a better method is to work within the 10 blocks. Here we've got 10, we've got another 10 over here, and we've got another 10 over here. How many is that in total? Do you recall how to count in tens? Well, it's simple. We just write down 10 plus 10 makes 20 plus another 10 gives us 30. So we now have 30 blocks. But we have to do this side as well. Here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we've got 8 blocks on this side. So therefore the total we have is 38. There are 38 blocks in total. And this is the shortcut method of trying to work out how many blocks there are. Now just by way of information, counting in tens, let's just run through that very quickly. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's how we count in tens. So the first one, if we've got one row or column of 10, it is 10. Over here. That's one row or column. If we've got two of them, then it becomes 20. If there are three rows, it becomes 30. If there are four rows, it becomes 40. And five rows or columns, it becomes 50. Have a practice with the questions and you'll get the idea of this. And I want you to concentrate on not on counting each and every single block. If you see a row or a column of 10, count it as 10. And then move to the next one. If there's another row or column, you go 10, 20. Have a practice.